what is it the metaverse is next metaverse <laughs> is is intriguing uh, i hate i hate in, i i we're not going to go to um facebook's metaverse but there's metaverses and it's kind of like what they call it second world back when people could build their own properties and sell yeah. them for real cash and all that and that'll happen but i love um the idea of of the of the real geeks the solid geeks that just want to live 24 7 inside their goggles and deal with people that way i mean ready player one ready player one that's what, what i've been scott saying. says this to me every single day he's like i don't get it i'm like ready player one it's, it's not for everybody maybe but it's for well, the deep geeks that i was i feel like oh go ahead Steve. are there gonna be music festivals in the metaverse yes for there sure. are let me give you an example um for virtual reality you know, and I get in that, it's just, oh my God, it's so amazing. It's like you are there. Emotions tell you what products will succeed. But then I saw a live basketball game, live, you know, and you, the players would go run in front of you and you'd be turning your head. I saw a football game that way. And you'd be under the basket and they'd dunk it right down top. Oh, the emotions. And then I saw Coldplay at a, at a concert in Chicago on VR. My gosh, and the camera's moving right around on the stage. You're, you're seeing so much more than just a concert. That I'm for that, yeah, and I think concerts will be real, real plentiful in um, in a metaverse. So here's a problem with the metaverse: bandwidth. How can we do it? You can put on goggles and be in in an artificial reality, and it looks really good, high resolution. But a high resolution camera is kind of narrow, narrow focus. You'd have to take ten of those around right. your head, and then you have to take ten of them this way. That's a hundred times the resolution just to get the resolution you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so maybe only do a hemisphere 50 times. We need a lot of resolution to make it look like it's a real world, able to change that fast like it's real. I've you know done a, done a few demos like that, and it's very impressive. So, so Moore's Law does have a, a little ways to go. Maybe. It's still, we're still finding <laughs> tricks. Like, instead of building transistors horizontal across this way, we're building them vertically. And yeah. a little tricks that pack them in tighter. Yeah. I have a question about like looking towards the future with technology because like to me with the metaverse it's fascinating it's exciting but it's sort of an extension of what we're already doing a little bit VR has existed it's kind of like it's video games it's entertainment but to me like do you have an opinion about like the neural link or things like this where like our brains would be connected uh, like through yeah, some you through see technology Elon Musk talking like about Elon that. Musk talks about it and stuff I haven't heard anything that's going to be important to people Mm. any of that kind of stuff neural links and and think certain thoughts and steer steer a car kind of so slow it can't really work into real life i i haven't bought into any of that um in the few everything that bothers me these days i'm very negative pessimistic okay. about technology because so many things that i think i have i don't own anymore and they change they change so drastically i can't even operate them our tesla out there is a good example and then oh it would i i'd have a different way to it they changed the way to it by voice if the voice button on the steering wheel worked but i've been waiting two months for service no i just hate everything's called artificial intelligence it's artificial all right but it's not intelligence like a brain it's just figuring out a few little formulas okay if you usually go um buy some milk on wednesday it's wednesday we'll notify you to go buy some milk Right, uh, right, right. So many times when it's not what you want to do that Wednesday, you're in a different city. You know, they're just they're just interruptions in your life, just like spam. And I right. really and a lot of the old school ways. I stick with old school email. I don't do the the social web and mm -hmm. um, maybe, maybe it's because that's where I started. America. If you thought Jackass Forever was crazy, oh boy, do I have a show for you. It's a multimedia comedy show called The Bucket List Tour. And the stuff I filmed for this show is way too hot for Jackass. Like the general anesthesia bike ride, the vasectomy Olympics, and skyjacking. The footage is so intense, we have full grown men passing out at almost every city this bus goes to. So if you think you can handle it, get your tickets right now at stevo.com. Yeah.